Legend of the Skies is a 2D indie game all about trading, gathering resources, and building your very own trade company in the sky. You pilot an airship which flies between floating islands. Some will have resources that you can collect, while others have small towns that are populated with guilds, markets, and more. Buy some islands, do some clever trading, and you can become a wealthy merchant. Of the skies! There's a variety of island types, and their placement is randomized each time you start a new game. The map is well populated, and there's a great sense of discovery, as you explore and reveal what hides within it. This game gave me FTL meets Transport Tycoon type vibes, all set in a fantasy steampunk world. As your empire grows, you can build on your islands to produce new resources that can then be used to expand further. You'll also need to hire workers to harvest these resources. But it's no use in hiring a bunch of people if you're not also focused on selling these resources, because having employees is not cheap. You can also do quests for guilds or take tourists across the skies to visit interesting landmarks. The gameplay is, in a sense, relaxed and simple. Time doesn't move unless you do, creating a slower pace where you never have to worry about your reflexes. Instead, the tension and challenge comes from being very organized. You'll have many fingers in many pies, trying to keep track of each island's status. Islands refresh stock on different days, trade in different resources, and pay different prices, so it is a juggling act. And while you have a lot of time to think about things, there is just so much to think about that it's easy to get tripped up. Neglect to sell your resources and you'll end up with a glut, leaving your storage overflowing. Forget to manage your fuel and you can find yourself with a towing bill that can leave you bankrupt, then it's game over. Thankfully, once things get started, they're a lot easier to manage, though not manage efficiently. However, the game doesn't explain a lot to you, which can be frustrating when you first get started. I didn't know where to click or how most things worked. And if you get stuck, you're on your own, which sucks a little bit. The game throws you into a campaign to begin, which gives you some direction. There's also a couple of other different objectives to choose from and a sandbox mode. But even with the campaign's guidance, you'll need to be digging through menus and figuring a lot of things out for yourself. They say the main campaign is six to eight hours, but I've played more than double that and have yet to finish it. That's because it's so fun just filling out your bases or saving up money and buying a cool ship. And there are some really cool ships, each with different statistics and pros and cons. You also unlock perks as you progress, which can be really helpful and give you that satisfying sense of progression. Plus, you expand trade posts by trading with them frequently, which gives them more goods and gold that you can take advantage of. This is important because it's no use having things to sell if no one has any money to buy it. And I ran into this problem kind of frequently. But I was happy just exploring, building my company until I had a steady income, and just looking through this cool world with its exciting little mysteries. That's because the gameplay loop is so satisfying. There's a million and one things to do and a decent amount of time to do it. It feels like there's always something new around the corner, and a lot of it is surprising and delightful. One minute you're collecting apples, the next there's a giant chicken on an island laying eggs and you have no idea why. Or an enormous fish god who's thirsty. Or a singing carrot who gives you loot for being his friend. Or this thing, I have no idea what it is, amazing! It's a whimsy that keeps me hooked. I just love these types of games. I love the pace and the challenge and that heightened sense of organization and management. This is dense to get into, but once you're in, you might just love it. I'm giving Merchant of the Skies three and a half out of five rubber chickens.